Hello friends, good morning to everyone. I'm just filming on a Sunday and uh, it's all very quiet uh, for now. <laughs> Even though I live in central London there are not many cars but uh, for today I wanted to briefly touch on two bare minerals um, products and uh, in particular they are powders, satin powders and uh, mm, you can see here uh, this is the mineral the original mineral veil for, uh, from Bare Minerals and this one is Bare Mineral uh, Invisible Light uh, Translucent Powder Duo and uh, you can see that basically this one this is the um, box that it comes with the Invisible Light sorry it's a bit um, old now because I've had this for quite a few months and I always put the compact back into this box um, so basically you have the matte and the glow brilliant um, I'm sure you have probably seen thousands of reviews on this product um, this is basically the brush that I use it with um, and then um, so if we oops so if we just open the compact looks like this so you have like a plastic protector which I can't get out now so that comes with this protector in plastic and then inside here you've got the matte and the glow so it's like a, a subtle highlighter this one and this one is just matte um, powder finely milled you get a nice mirror as well and um, uh, yeah it's basically that and uh, the other one is this one so when you open it plastic um, it's all plastic anyways not glass um, you've got a nice sifter here um, so it's basically the main difference obviously this is a loose uh, mineral powder and this is a, a compact um, baked powder um, you get let me see how many grams in the original veil. Uh, nine grams, I think. Let me see. Uh, yeah, nine grams here, and you get nine grams here as well. So you get like 4.5 and 4.5, I think. Yeah. Um, or oh, 3.5. <laughs> I can't remember now. Um, sorry, I'm not very good with maths, and I've just uh, woken up, so um, apologies if I can't make my maths now, but it's Sunday morning. I hope you appreciate that I've just, um, you know, uh, woken up to this world. <laughs> uh, so it's a bit too early for me to do even simple things like simple maths. Anyway, um, let's move on with this. Uh, what I wanted to basically talk about on this one is that um, um, I basically don't like this powder and I love uh, the compact the bare minimum minerals invisible light uh, mainly because um, this one is not as finely milled uh, as uh, the compact and this one is kind of got a um, it's not really invisible, uh, I mean it's not called invisible, it doesn't claim to be, to be invisible but uh, it's basically, um, it's got like a pink uh, undertone to this and it's very, it's kind of high coverage as well um, I don't know how to explain it but maybe I'll just put the camera one second here and um, I'll just put uh, a bit of powder on my hand I'll try to, oops, it's come like a load of, shit loads of powder, sorry. So, um, as you can see, um, yeah, I've got a lot here. But as you can see, it's kind of a pink, kind of pink undertone. I'll just remove a little bit because it's just impossible to do a swatch with uh, so much powder on my hand. But you see, even I haven't even rubbed it. I, I've just put some off um, in in back into the container, the powder, and I haven't even rubbed uh, into my skin. And you can already see it's like it's covering up. So if I do like if I rub it, yeah, this is like 
you know this is basically what it is it covers kind of a little bit I mean you probably you can't see it because I'm really uh, fair skinned let me see if I change mm. no you probably cannot see it um, sorry I don't have a very great camera here but I don't know it's like it feels um, it feels um, smooth and matte and it is mattifying but I don't know, I don't really, I don't like this product because when I, and I use, um, basically I use this brush to, you know, I pick up um, some of the products, tap off the excess um, or into the cup um, and then uh, I just put it on my face um, on top of um, foundation or concealer to set my concealer or foundation but um, I noticed that this one it's kind of heavy it feels really heavy on my skin and it does um, make my makeup look cakey as well I don't know if any of you have tried this this product here um, but it does um, it doesn't do a good job at uh, making my skin uh, flawless to be honest um, so I don't really like that for that reason simply for that and plus it gives that um, odd uh, pink undertone to my skin uh, which I don't really like uh, and um, so for, for that reason I much prefer I much prefer um, you know this powder so I don't know if you can see anything here, let me just change so obviously it's been very loved as you can see I'm like um, digging into it but um, this is like the the quick finger swatch and it's very very finely milled, very light on the skin you know compared to the other one that feels very heavy like a mask almost it doesn't feel like my skin is breathing with this uh, with the other powder with the loose one um, instead this one is very um, it's very nice finely milled soft uh, um, and this is the, basically the the highlighter I'm really sorry about my voice but when I wake up I mean you here you can't see anything um, but it's, it's got like a nice um, sheen to, to it uh, sorry if you can see boxes on the left um, let me do a quick swatch maybe on, on here on my hand see if you can see anything probably not I'll do a swatch of both Sorry, you can't see anything here. Oops. Um, well, basically, I've got the mat here, and uh, sorry, the mat here and the um, glow um, here, but you can't see anything. Basically, when I put this powder on the the matte one is completely matte and invisible. It doesn't leave any white uh, cast on the skin and that's why I like it because it's definitely invisible but it does um, set your makeup and it does um, mattify the skin and uh, but without drying it doesn't dry the skin at all um, this one you know the the glow um, which has written here glow and matte so the glow one, um, when I put it on my skin I use it um, in the high points of my face, you know, um, like uh, cheekbones and uh, chin and uh, the bridge of the nose um, when I want basically to highlight where I want to highlight and um, it's, it's kind of got, um, if I see it in like artificial light 
you know, like that white, horrible light. Um, basically, I see like um, blue, bluish uh, reflection. So it's got kind of a, a slightly iridescent type of uh, blue. I don't want to say glitter because it's not really glittery. It's very finely milled, as I said. Both of them, both of these powders are finely milled. But uh, yeah, when I put this on the skin, it's, it's kind of giving me um, an iridescent type of um, glow, but very minimal, very subtle, so you can't really notice. And then I put uh, blush uh, and other things uh, anyway, um, so it doesn't, you know, at the end of the day it gets covered by other products um, in the end. Um, in terms of price, I think... Um, you know this is quite expensive and I've used um, I've used it a little bit but not too much and I'm not gonna use it again I'll probably just throw it in the bin I just kept uh, I just kept this one because I wanted to just do this comparison video um, so it's only for the sake of this video that I've kept it but otherwise I would have chucked it like ages ago because I really don't like it mm. so this is gonna go in in the bin uh, and also yes I have to point that um, so as I said I'm using this brush for this product and I'm using uh, the elf brush or oh, the other one is a real techniques by the way and this one is um it's a elf brush and I use basically this um, brush to to do the matte side and I use another, um, a different, um, as you can see, it's picking up slightly. Um, and I use uh, this one, I use a different brush, uh, Real Techniques, um, the contour uh, brush. I don't have it here, I'm sorry, I forgot to bring it down, but um, it's basically um, got quite a, it's kind of uh, quite flat and uh, packed. A bit like this one but it's more flat and uh, the bristle may maybe are even uh, shorter than this brush and I think it works best I tried uh, in the beginning I tried uh, to use this brush um, with the matte side but it wasn't picking up any any product I don't know why I think maybe it's because of uh, the bristles of this brush and uh, I noticed that uh, with um, this brush, because it's a bit more compact, you know, and round, well, not round, but like it's, it's, um, I don't know, it's, it's a bit more um, densely packed in terms of bristle compared to this one, which is not as, uh, you know, it's kind of very different. Um, this one is more uh, flexible and I think that is the reason why this this brush didn't pick up any any of the product here um, so yeah that's basically that um, and uh, yeah in terms of where did I get these I got these um, this one from Debenhams in uh, Oxford Street and uh, I got this here online, I think on Amazon, I can't remember. Um, yeah, because somehow I couldn't, I couldn't find uh, this one in Debenhams. So yeah, that's why. In terms of price, uh, this one I paid uh, this with a discount. There was a, it was a Black Friday. That's why I got it like uh, back in uh, November for Black Friday sale. Uh, or Cyber Monday, whatever it's called, and then um, this one, um, uh, yeah, and I paid about 20, 23, 24 pounds. This one I paid about, um, I don't know, about uh, 15, can't remember how much, um, yeah, 15 or 16 pounds, um, can't quite recall, but because uh, it was a long time ago, I got this. I think probably more than six months ago yeah probably 
yeah and um, basically that's that uh, so um, let me know what you think about these two if you if you have tried both uh, powders uh, if you tried any of them too and which one you like the most um, because I find uh, you know this one sets the makeup really well it doesn't leave any any heavy is very light on the skin you don't you hardly you don't feel anything at all actually you hardly notice that you have it on um, so it's definitely invisible you know that's uh, the claim of this um, it is uh, you know it says dimensional dew of silky you ultra fine baked translucent powder developed to instantly vanish on all skin tones and it's true because it doesn't leave any you know any white cast on the skin um, the matte one does a great job at absorbing oil um, and setting a perfect setting powder and the, this one the glow add shears luminosity for highlighting and strobing so yeah it's basically this is uh, the the deal about this so anyway i hope uh, that was useful um to make you aware of uh, the two different bare minerals uh, setting powders and uh, if you want to try them um yeah i would i would definitely recommend uh, this one i i will definitely keep buying this one again at the moment i'm trying uh, i'm trying the new care wise um pressed uh, powder uh, so I will do a review uh, very soon about the, um, the new Kira Wise product anyway um, hope you have a great weekend um, oh well I, by this time by the time this video is gonna be uh, uploaded <laughs> you definitely have had the weekend anyway the weekend would have passed so um, I wish you a great start of the week uh, or a great week whenever this video is gonna go um, up <laughs> and um, I'll see you in my next one um, thanks for watching this video and apologies again about my voice which is kind of going thanks bye